I am that faith walking, dream believing, positive talking, inspiring go getter, Yolanda Good, who is an ambassador of Christ Jesus and a reconciliator for the kingdom of God. And I'm coming with to you with your uh, nugget, and I actually am cooking. Um, I tried twice to go live, uh, and so there was blockage. But this word of, that I have shall be vis released, and you know there's more than one way, as they say. So I'm doing it via video. I um, do one of our, our prayers, prayer times. One of the sisters released the uh, and was praying against the uh, Stockholm syndrome. Now, a lot of the young people don't know what that is, and it is a. Let me make sure I read that correctly. The definition of it. get this right hold on one second all right sorry for the delay so it is a the stockholm syndrome is a psychological response it occurs when hostages or abuse victims bond with their captors or abusers um it can develop over time in the course of days, weeks, or months, or even years of, of captivity or abuse. And so they become very sympathetic towards their captors, which is an interesting thing. Um, and so uh, when she was uh, praying that, and then there's, you can look at where Miriam had to break out forth in a dance that helped them break free in their mindset. You can read that in the Bible because they had come out of captivity and they didn't know what to do. Their minds were still wrapped up. And even some of the statements when they went through challenges, when they talked about it was better that we ate leeks um, back in Egypt, you know, so it was a mindset they was bound up. So then, you know, as I thought about it, then the, the, the Holy Spirit dropped and said uh, to think about what have we done? What have we done to the, the next generation? And we have used words like, you know, um, this is something that our family deals with. You know, this is something that the women in our family go through. This is something that the men in our family go through. You can just trace it all the way back to such and such and such and such. So... What have we taught our children to fall in love with the enemy? Have we taught our children to um, bond with th those things that keep us in bondage? And so I was like, oh, shit, man. They can't. Oh, oh, Lord. How did they say, man? So I really want to teach on this uh, on, on a deeper level. And at some point in time, I will. But I just need to go ahead and drop this nugget. And to ask you the question, what have you passed on? Now, we talk about inheritances and that the things that we, and the legacies that we want to leave in our family line. We talk about those things. But what negative inheritances have we passed on in our families? Oh, girl, you know, that that. That happened to my mama. That happened to my auntie. You know, it's just something that we go through. Hey. Mm. So have we bonded with our captives? Now, I'm not talking about the people that don't have the un un that have uh, unregenerated minds. That those that don't have the mind of Christ. I'm talking to us believers. I'm talking to you and me. What have we passed on? What have we modeled that says that it is okay for us to be in bondage in this area? That it's okay to uh, feel sympathetic and to love this thing. That we don't challenge these patterns that we see. I'm just, I just want to know. Oh, sha-da-da-da-da. Woo. I mean, I, 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 yeah, I know that I said, I feel this thing that the Lord wants us to challenge, to look at what have we have, what are we in agreement with? Oh, 
We may not have said, oh, I agree with this captain. But what we have not done is we have not challenged it. Generational things. What is it? What have we taught our children to just lay down and accept that is out of alignment with God says about us? That is out of alignment with our privileges as sons of God. And before anybody get all super deep, <laughs> that's male and female. So today, my nugget for you, even as I am... Uh, making me the soup over here. Oh, ho, no Cutting up some green peppers now. Mm. Not green peppers, but uh, just uh, bell peppers because they multicolored. Whoo! What have you done? Namasha. And um, I had a situation that arise in my, I about flipped, climbed the wall and everything. When someone that I love dearly was about to speak death dealing words over someone else in the family. And when I say death dealing words, any words that does not produce life, you know, again, oh, this is something that we go through. This is something because this happened to me that this is what's going to happen to them. I'm not talking to you all that don't believe, but I'm going to tell you, your words have power. Your words have power, believer. Your words have power. You know, uh, Job talked about that that I feared has come upon me. Ooh, I, I, I didn't even have that down in my notes. What are you expecting? What are you fearing that you have not challenged with the word of God? Oh, my God. Yes, Holy Spirit. Hush, me. Mm. I had to immediately, I respect and love the people in my life. But the moment you start speaking contrary words, it, it just rises up in me. I'm, I'm going to have to challenge that. And I'm going to have to challenge you. What are you saying? Because, see, children, you, yes, we teach them, but they catch it. They, they listen to what we say. They look at what we do. So out of our mouths, we may be saying, I believe God, but then over here, we cutting a fool. We, they don't see us praying. They don't see us fasting. They don't see us dancing. They don't see us celebrating before the Lord. They don't see us using the mighty weapons of our warfare from Father God. What? That is what? Mighty from him for the pulling down of strongholds. So there's lots of mental strongholds going on in, in our minds. That must be pulled down. So what, what have we passed on? Have we taught our kids? Have we taught our kids to love our enemy? Excuse me. Let me get my pepper. I mean my onion. So the next verse, well, the verse I want to bring forth, uh, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Job 28, 22, yes, you need, to, you need to read that right there. Again, whoo, I took pictures so I could just read the, read the scriptures to you. Um, yeah, so Proverbs uh, 18, 21, uh, this is the new international version. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it, will eat its fruit. So what have you been speaking? And you try to figure out where's all this stuff coming from? Why are my kids acting this way? Fruit, fruit from your lips. The tongue can bring life or death. Those who love it, love to talk, will reap the consequences. That's the New Living Translation. So you talk, but what are you talking about? What are you releasing? The English Standard Version, the, the previous one was the New Living Translation. 
the English stand, Standard Version. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Yes. And then, yes, from the, um, uh-oh, let me go back this way. Did I get all of it? From the fruit of the mouth, a man's belly is filled. With the harvest from his lips, he is satisfied. With the harvest, that's verse 20. If you read verse 20, with the harvest of his lips, he is satisfied. Now you saying, well, bad things are coming to me, but what you've been speaking, you are satisfying that by speaking. So what have you been speaking? What have you been saying? And then, um, okay, I if I read that one to you about the, the Stockholm, and there was one more scripture I want to bring up. So as a believer, the one thing it said about keeping your heart, your mind, your will, your emotions, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. This is Proverbs 4.23. Um, the English Standard Version says, keep your heart with all vigilance from for from it flows the springs of life. Uh, in the New Living Translation, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. And so, again, my question to you is, have you passed on to your children, your grandchildren, your nieces, your nephews, your cousins and them, to love the captors? To love those, those things that keep you in bondage by saying, oh, it's just something that happens in our family. You know, you can trace it in our family. When you are meant to be the breaker, you are the one that is meant to change the, the, the thought processes that this, is, as a believer, this does not line up with the word of God. This does not say, this does not say me as God sees me. And how dare I then going to pass it on to the next generation? How dare am I going to speak death dealing words over my loved ones? So my question to you again is, have you, have you taught your future generations to love? The captors, their enemies, those things that keep them in bondage. This is your nugget for today. Mm. Be free. Um, I have. I am going to do a deeper teaching on that. I just want to go ahead and hit that. I'm going to get back to making my soup. Mm. But I pray Holy Spirit prick you in those areas where you, where you too, are still in love with the with, with the that bondage that you have just just said this is this is just something that we just go through and you have not challenged it as a believer in Christ Jesus ah uh, who paid for us to be free who opened the prison doors walk out walk out walk out I love you again Whew. I am that faith walking, dream believing, positive talking, inspiring go getter, Yolanda Gurr. And this is your nugget for today. Make sure that you like, make sure that you share it. If you want special prayer, I can pray with you. You can DM me, just send me a message, and I'll. Be, you want, but you're going to have to work. You're going to have to work for this. You're going to have to work for it. But the liberty is there. You're going to have to possess your possession. The liberty is there. There's some things you're going to have to walk out of. And again, the battlefield is in the mind. And as I say, you control the mind, you control the behind. You control the whole person. I'm a shabba shabba. And there's areas in your life, you, oh my gosh, you are super free. But then there's other areas that you are still bound up in, and therefore you are passing it forward. You are modeling out what bondage looks like. Love you. God bless y'all. See y'all.